Nada and Kaduna people have charged Nigerians to embrace peace unity as a panacea to end insecurity and challenges confronting the nation and nation at large. They gave the advice at the peace carnival organized by the Southern Kaduna group in Zonkwa, which is aimed to unite people and seek for a lasting solution to killings and incessant attacks on various communities in the state. Speaking, the convener of the carnival, Reverend Dr. Sunday Ibrahim, says the essence of the carnival is to bring people together to celebrate amid security challenges bedeviling them, noting that peace and harmonious coexistence is paramount among people of diverse ethnicity. What is happening in Southern Kaduna is really very, very unfortunate. I, I look at it that there are just people that have decided to a kind of uh, bring chaos to this very part of the state for whatsoever reason is best known to them. But I want to assure them that it's just a matter of time. God is intervening, people are praying, uh, everything that has a beginning has an end. But I want to advise them that for whatsoever they are doing this, whether political or, what, or, or ethnical, I, I want to advise them that the better disease, because this very part of the state is owned by God himself. And because it is owned by God, they just have to be very careful. There is no one blood that is spilled that we go, you know, uh, without God intervening or speaking on behalf of that very big demo. Also, the president of Baptist Conference, Abuja, Reverend Ugara Raphael, says there was a need for Nigerians to remain hopeful over the incessant killings and attacks on innocent citizens. The challenges of Southern Kaduna are known globally that Southern Kaduna are facing challenge of ethnic cleansing, the challenge of land grabbing, the challenge of religious persecution. The government needs to rise and make sure that the people express themselves and enjoy life. As long as we live, we have our choices, we have our culture, and we must be allowed to... They lament the continuous killings and kidnappings of residents while appealing to government at all levels to ensure lives and properties of people are protected. So we as Nigerians, we must come up and vote for that party that will change Nigeria for us. And we must get it right this time. We failed to get it right another four years of slavery, another four years of pains, another four years of killing and destructions that we just don't want. So we are praying God to help us to get it right. There should be peace in this country. More especially if we think of Nigeria of yesterday, when we were children, there hasn't been anything like differences. But now we have differences. So I'm calling to all of us to see that there is peace in Nigeria so that the young ones will experience those things that we did in the past. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.